What is going on guys? Noah Brewer back here again. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I've been working. I've been doing stuff on my own. So, you know, it is what it is. I want to make video for you guys and, and keep the content, content coming and keep things doing good. But I also have to focus on my businesses and make sure that everything's good. And I've been working on a new strategy as well. Um, which I think I'm going to milk for a while before I put it out there, but just being, just being honest, I'm doing it. It's doing pretty good so far, but let me share something with you. Before we start this video, I'm going to be talking about how Facebook is messed up lately, uh, which is kind of funny, but um, before we start this video, I want to show you something. You can see it in the background there. So basically, a lot of you guys know that when I started doing e-commerce, Mark Hagar at Mentorupted, um, you can see the company name right there, Mentorupted. Um, he basically taught me e-commerce like he was kind of my coach He was kind of the guy that uh, you know took me under his wing and showed me the ropes kind of showed me everything um, You know, I didn't even really know what retargeting was at the time So this is sick guys you can see that this is my desk setup um, in my house But you can see I got my two seven-figure awards right there for you guys who know I had my agency last year the year of 2018 which is when I really deserve these um, but they just came to me about a month ago and I think they look amazing hanging on the wall right there I have two more coming on the way which I think I'm gonna put one right there I think I'm gonna put one above my couch um, but yeah these things are sick they make it look super good and I'm, I'm blessed to be able to have these behind my videos while I'm recording so now that we made the announcement of the awards which I think is super exciting I'm super blessed to be able to have these um, two more coming though two more coming um, so each one of those represents a million dollars in sales generated online by the way if you didn't know that now you know um, So this sales not profit, but even though they are sales and not profit. It's still kind of an accomplishment It's kind of like making your first sale or doing your first thousand dollars in sale or doing your first thousand dollars in sales um, You know, it's just a landmark It's it's a it's a place that you hit and um, kind of the place that I'm pushing for right now is the eight-figure club so I'm not sure what he's gonna make for a reward when I hit that but um, I guess we'll find out uh, pretty soon. Maybe next year we'll, uh, we'll hit it. So anyways, I wanted to talk today about Facebook messing up. Like they, I, I don't know if it's them messing up, right? Like I don't want to point fingers and blame them, but this happened to me. A lot of people that um, I follow, a lot of my students, basically ever since Facebook updated their interface, like they, they started talking stuff about CBOs, they started... Uh, introducing an entire new interface for the ads man manager. I'm pretty sure that all of you have seen it by now Ever since that stuff started happening There's also been some weirder stuff happening such as ad accounts getting disabled payments getting disabled um, Personal profiles getting shut down which happened to me personally So now I'm not able to run ads on Facebook under my account um, Which there's multiple ways to fix these issues, but I'm more here to talk about um, the type of mindset that you should have when dealing with these issues. So basically what's happening is Facebook's automated systems are flagging people um, whether there's a reason or not. Like I've seen accounts that do indeed have policy violations get flagged for policy violations. And I've also seen accounts that don't have any policy violations that are also getting flagged. So I don't think that they're basing it on any sort of, you know, actual policy violation. I think that they're just triggering uh, you know triggering the uh, the the red flag and, and shutting down your account um, Whether it's for no reason or, or some reason it doesn't matter all that I know is it's happened to everybody that I've worked with in the past three months at least once um, Recently it happened to me uh, It's happened to I mean one of my students just got the same thing like they're just waving the band hammer um, They wave the band hammer at me, which is where they tell you um, You know like, like let's say in, instead of just having an ad account disabled or a business manager disabled my entire personal account is disabled, which means even if you were to make an ad account and add me as an admin, I still would not be able to publish ads. Um, even though it's not my ad account or it's not a disabled ad account, I'm disabled. So that kind of stuff is happening and it's kind of becoming normal for ad accounts to get disabled or payments to get disabled, you know, stuff like this. Um, so the way that I've been dealing with it is just, you know, keep pushing if, if they if they tell you to request a review, request a review. If they tell you to do this, do that, do this. Just do what they say and just keep on pushing through it. Now, one thing that I started doing for my stores is partnering with other people to kind of diversify the risk. So if you have all of your stores under one personal account, I am terrified for you because if you're like, let's say you're doing 20K a day uh, from like five or six stores 
and they're all running ads from your account, you need to fucking cut it out because that is not going to work in this day and age, right? Like they might change it, they might fix it, they might do whatever, but it is extremely risky to run all accounts from or run all all stores from one account. Um, if I if I was doing this myself, all my stores would have been shut down, um, which would really suck. So I'm kind of diversifying, right? So I have this partner, this partner, this partner, and they manage the ad accounts. So. I basically did this so that like say one of them gets ruined I still have my other stores right so I'm not out of all cash flow um, but yeah this is a you know this is basically a warning I want to let you guys know what's going on and how you can for one avoid it which you can't really avoid it the only way to avoid having issues with it is to kind of diversify um, but you have multiple options like if you just can't seem to get your account back there's been numerous accounts where you, pff, I mean, they're just screwed. Like, you can make a new Facebook profile, you can, uh, you know, make new business manager, a new ad account. Every single time, it just gets disabled. Um, there's a there's a bunch of different things that you can do. Like, for example, you can do what I'm doing and just partner with somebody who doesn't have a lot of issues and use their account. Um, probably eventually they'll start having issues too, but you know, then you just kind of play the game with them. Um, or you can go to somebody like your mom or your sister or your brother, uncle, whatever, somebody who doesn't really use Facebook that much and ask them to use the, their account. Um, this is probably the best and easiest option out of all of these, um, mainly because it, it's kind of like a throwaway account. The only thing with this is Facebook does look at the name on the debit card that you're paying them with, and if it doesn't match the name of the profile, then they're gonna disable your payments. Like 99% of the time, they'll disable the payments. Um, and then if, if you look at uh, what Facebook has done in the past, basically, they'll ask you to verify your personal data. So for example, if your name is Noah Brewer on Facebook, they'll ask you for government issued ID that says Noah Brewer on it. Um, and obviously if I run ads on my mom's account, I'm gonna have to have her give her ID. So you gotta make sure that whoever account you're using, you gotta make sure that they understand this and they're willing to work with you on it. And um, you can compensate them, you can give them a flat rate, you can give them a percentage of profits, you know, whatever, you can give them nothing, right? Like maybe they're just family and they're doing you a favor. Whatever needs to be done, this is just one of the ways that you can deal with it. Another way that you can deal with it is just keep pushing and pushing and pushing with your personal account. So eventually, if you keep having issues, you will get to a point where they just completely ban your personal account. Um, at that point, you can reach out to the chat support and they'll basically tell you what they told me, which is just deactivate this Facebook account not the business manager and you know none of that just the entire account um, just the entire Noah Brewer account ditch everything that's in it um, deactivate that one and just make a new one and then on the new one they'll ask you to verify you know your ID cards they'll they'll have you verify your address probably um, which I already have all that done on my personal account but if I make a new one I can do it on there that was the advice that the support gave me now I know that the Facebook support they don't really know all too much <laughs> but uh, you know that that's what I mean. It's just like keep on pushing keep on requesting reviews keep on talking to support figure out What the next best move is which honestly this is not the best option because I've been going back and forth with Facebook for about a month now and I've gotten literally nowhere like first my ad account was disabled then the business manager was disabled then uh, my f Personal Facebook was disabled and then they tell me that I have to just go and create a whole new account um, it's not the best option because you'll be waiting a really long time, um, you know, just to hear back from the case managers and, and whatnot. And if it's a Friday, you got to wait until Monday or Tuesday for an answer because they take two to three business days to respond. So it's just a big mess. Um, so these, these are the things that you can do to kind of solve the issue for yourself and kind of work around the beast. But um, this is kind of happening. I'm not exactly sure why it's happening. I'm not thinking about it too much because it seems really, really random. Like I said, I'm not only looking at my personal account, I'm also looking at all my students, and I have about 30 students, so that's a lot of accounts that I'm looking under. Some of them, it's arguable whether they're breaking the policy or not, like they might be stretching some words or whatever. Um, and then some of them are just following the policy 100% and they both have the same issues. Honestly, some of them haven't even ran a single ad before they get disapproved, and they just have nonstop issues. So I really don't think that it's anything in the ads manager, any action or strategy that I'm using that's causing it. I'm pretty sure that it's just a glitch on Facebook's side with their automated tools, 
or maybe they're trying to micromanage its users, which I, I'm, I'm leaning towards that where they're kind of uh, saying like, hey, we're disabling your account, now you have to ask us to review it. Kind of like a police officer pulling you over for no reason just to search your car. Uh, we all know that police officers do that, um, especially when they say that they smell weed or something like that when, you know, I don't personally smoke weed, so why would they say that? It, de it definitely doesn't smell like weed, but they say it so that they can search your car. So I feel like Facebook's doing a similar thing where they're like, oh, like we, we suspect that you're breaking a policy just so that they can go in there and uh, micromanage you and make sure that you're not or something like that. Um, which, I mean, there's so many conspiracies out there, but it doesn't really matter. All that I'm saying is the mindset that you need to have with this is to either one, or, or go around the issue by using somebody else's account. Two, take this as an opportunity to, to diversify. Um, I'm using this to test different strategies. I'm testing um, different products, different uh, locations, different, you know, different everything, right? Different strategies as a whole. Um, because being able to partner with other people allows me to leverage their time as well. So I really like that way. That's probably the best way is to, uh, you know, find a partner out there, somebody, uh, find multiple partners, you know, partner with this guy in this store and partner with this guy in that store. Um, if you have the money and time to do so. Um, but what I'm trying to say is don't let this stop you. Don't let this be kind of like a dead end for you because there are solutions out there. Um, you just have to find them, right? Like my, uh, preventative and solution is to kind of let it happen. But at the same time, I'm not going to rely on one account because I saw how quickly they turned me off and I didn't do anything wrong. I have screenshots of Facebook saying that I didn't do anything wrong. Um, and they just shut me down like overnight for apparently no reason. Um, which is what they said. So after seeing that, I am no longer recommending to have, you know, eight, nine stores under one account. It's just stupid. Um, if you're going to have that many accounts, please set up partnerships or have, you know, your sister's account run one store and, you know, just diversify it across accounts because Facebook is getting bloody. So that was a good video. I feel like there's a lot of value in there, especially now with all this happening. Um, but you know, it, I mean, it sucks, but it's kind of what it is. And I'm glad that I kind of found a way to circumvent it a little bit, but you know, all the data connected to my personal account I lost, which, you know, really sucks, but it is what it is. And it's my fault for not backing up the data and all that. But, you know, of course, just consider it a lesson learned and I won't be, I won't be doing it again. I won't be relying on one account again, even if it's my account. Um, cause I was kind of sitting there like, there's no way they would disable me, right? Like, I, why would they disable me? I don't break any rules. I've, I've read the policy like 20 times. Um, don't be that guy. It can happen to you and it probably will. So, you know, don't just sit there and think that you're invincible to it because you follow the policy because it doesn't matter if you follow the policy or not. They're going to disable you. Um, chances are, right? Like, I don't want to put any curses on you guys, but that's the chances. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I'm super hyped to have those awards up. I'm getting two more. I don't I'm not sure where I'm going to put them, but yeah, excited to start making videos again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.